Nola Gent here. The Village Corner German Restaurant, Bakery, and Tavern. Good stuff in here in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. The Village Corner German Restaurant and Bakery was opened back in 1974 by the Fries family who moved to the USA from Munich and Hamburg, Germany. This establishment includes a German tavern, a European bakery, a cafe style dining room, and the Stone Mountain Brewery. I ate here on two separate occasions with a late night dinner one night and then an early daylight dinner on another day. They have a lovely beer garden on the outside and then as you walk around the exterior of the beer garden they have a nice pretzel hanging there and here's the other side of the beer garden. In the rear of the business, they have a banquet room available for rental for events and parties. The outside of the building definitely reminds you of Germany and certainly tempts you to come inside and look around. So let's go inside and check this place out. And we already have a pretzel handle on the door to welcome us. And as we also go in, do notice the uh, place to put your face on right there. We might see that come up later. And uh, all sorts of gifts and merchandise are already on offer here. So they have a lot of things. Fresh bread on the left. The bakery is right in front of us here. And they have all sorts of great looking items here. This is uh, quite a tempting area. The smell is fantastic here with all of these wonderful looking baked goods. Wow, there are some delicious looking items here. So they have the restaurant to the right. Uh, they weren't using that maybe due to the COVID-19 situation. And let's look over here and look up closer at some items. Hmm, there's all sorts of goodies over here. And then they have a display case full of all sorts of delicious looking cakes and goodies right here. Wow, look at all these pastries, cakes, strudels. And there's some more cakes back here. More strudel, all sorts of delicious looking pies. Ooh, good stuff. And they do make uh, wedding cakes, it looks like too. And uh, as we look around, they have more stuff all about. You kind of have to look around to see all the great things they have in here. And they sat us both nights in the tavern bar area. So I guess that's their main section for dining at the moment. And they have a good selection of some German canned goods you can check out for the special gift for anybody that might need that. And then this great looking cookie section here. Mmm, look at all these things. They have quite a delicious looking selection there. I'm gonna have to come check this out here in a little bit when I finish my dinner and get some dessert out of this. And more t-shirts on the right, of course. And you really get a feeling of a German restaurant when you walk in. They certainly have most of the design elements here that make you feel like you could be back in Germany. And that's the bar right here. Some people were watching a little uh, football, not the American kind, the European kind. Here's the view looking back into the bakery where we first walked in and you can notice they have the mandatory deer head and then some t-shirts for sale there and all sorts of wonderful items as you look about. You can see the flag of Munich with the coat of arms on it and the Bavarian flag there. And all the way against the back wall is another deer head. They do tend to love the deer a lot in Bavaria. It's a very common design element. So here's where the brewery is. So you have a selection of beers here you can look at and they will pour you a growler of the beer to take with you. I have a little Viking head up here too for another fun design element. And then as we continue on towards the back of this tavern area, there's lots of interesting nooks and crannies and this is the bathroom back here. So when you exit the bathroom, you look around and see more deer heads and some more fun design elements that they have in here. And uh, there are actually two deer heads in this area. So when you look all the way around, there's the bathroom door entrance right there. You get another deer head. So they do love the deer. Although so far, all the deer here are American deer. The red deer that they use in Germany are much larger. And 
Typically, they'll just have the antler and the skull, not the whole head. All right, I just got back and got the menu. So as we look at the huge menu, I don't have time to read through this entire huge thing. They have such a large selection. So you can just pause the video and look through this if you would like. But they have quite an extensive menu of many German specialties. And for those that aren't into German food, they have plenty of American style food as well. So they have a very good selection that should please most people. So a little blend of American and German food. And then their brewery with a selection of all the beers and wines they have available. So they do have a very nice selection of both their own beers and German beers and some other commercially available beers. So definitely a good selection overall. Of course, I got one of their brewery beers, Ein Mas, in the liter mug, and I'm gonna try this out. Roast. Their brewery beer was good, and I ordered the Sauerbraten, which is German pot roast. This is a huge plate. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all of this, and I wanna save room for dessert. This is gonna be quite a challenge. Sauerbraten. Mm. The pot roast is definitely fork tender, so no need to even try to slice it. It breaks up quite easily. You can see this is a large portion of meat, which is uh, exactly like my experience in Germany. They do give you big portions. I like that. Or red cabbage. Spatzel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. So the sour brat looks delicious. The flavor was good. It tasted a uh, little bit different from any other sour brat I've had before. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it is the meat was very dry actually when I was eating it. So it needed a little beer to wash it down with. And fortunately they had lots of beer here.
There's still a lot of food on this plate and I'm getting really full. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish all of this and have room for dessert. I think I can power through, let's see. <laughs> There's a lot of spatula left to eat still, and this is really filling. Spatula is so filling, this is going to be hard. I didn't think I could finish the whole plate, but I did. So give me a thumbs up on this video for that. But I still have a lot of beer to finish. This is my second one. So a huge plate of sour braten and the sides and two huge liter beers and I'm still gonna force dessert down. So of course I have to get a gingerbread man here and I got one of the oatmeal cookies. Will I be able to eat them both? Let's see. They do look delicious so let's try them out. Oh well I made a new friend like my little buddy. Look at this. <laughs> no, no, don't take that off. That's my COVID protective like uh, mask. No, no. I need that. I need that for COVID-19. Don't, don't take that off. Hello, Mr. Bill. How have you been doing today? No, no, he took my mask. No, save me. No, 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 Mr. Bill. We're going to have a good time today. It's going to be okay. No, no, he's going to hurt me. No. No, I wouldn't do that, would I? <laughs> it's a pretty big cookie. It seems bigger. Is it going to fit? <laughs> So I was so full, I did not finish the gingerbread man or the cookie that night. I finished them the next morning for breakfast. They were both fantastic. So my meal total was $33.48 before tip and didn't include the cookies. The next dinner I ate here, I went with a little lighter fare with a chicken and wine sauce. And it smells fantastic and looks really good. It's got a nice little mushroom topping on there. So the flavor is very nice and the uh, meat is actually quite tender and juicy so the chicken breast was not dry at all. So I quite enjoyed eating this and it went down quite easily so hopefully this will help me lose a little of the weight that I gained from eating that huge portion of the sour braten before. <laughs> Spatzel also quite good. Uh, actually, this spatzel tastes a little bit better than the spatzel I had before with the sour broth. This was a very moist and flavorful chicken, so it was quite well prepared. I probably should have gotten a white wine with it since it's a wine sauce chicken, but of course I got another en masse of beer, so I had another big liter of beer here to go with the chicken, which it went quite fine for my tastes. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you like beer with your chicken or if you like wine with your chicken. Comment below which one you prefer. And then eating some nice healthy vegetables, that made me feel better too. These vegetables were also quite nicely done. So just let me uh, stroke my beard and we'll uh, finish my plate off once again. Success, I clean my plate once again. So 
few big meals successfully completed in the German restaurant. So that was not an easy task, but it was a delicious and fun task. And just like I cleaned my plate, my friends that I was eating with also enjoyed their meals. Uh, the burger was quite a popular choice, and it does look rather large and delicious, so that's something I'd like to try sometime. On your way out, make sure to shop and purchase some souvenirs, and I also picked up more cookies on my way out and another gingerbread man. Now, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to keep getting notifications as we have more German and Oktoberfest content coming up soon. Guten Abend! Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.